Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the new forms experience which is available in the Microsoft list. By using this new form experience, you can easily capture data from your users without exposing your Microsoft list itself. Right now I am in the Microsoft list which is called as employee and here I have this new option called as forms. When I click on this forms option, I see a new dialog which is helping me to create this new form. When I click on this new form, it is giving me the options to provide a title and a description about the form and it is also displaying all the columns which are already available or created inside my Microsoft list. I can show or hide them by clicking on these checkboxes as well as I can go and drag and drop or uh, just click on these arrow buttons to order them. Okay, there is another way to order them is by dragging and dropping these fields from here. Just like this, I can I want this department field to be below depart, uh, user. So let me do that. Let me create this form. This form is for the new employee. Please provide details about new employee. This is the description I'm going to add in here and this is how my form will look if i want to see that in preview how this form will look alike to the end users i can click on this preview button so if you first save the changes and open up the preview in the new tab so this is how a user who is filling out the form will have this look on the page it will also have this name of the user who is filling out the form and all the details are going to be available to them the another advantage of this form is the new experience of form is you don't have to expose your microsoft or microsoft list to them they can simply use this uh, link when we are coming into that in just a bit like having a link to this form open up that link into the into the browser and then they can fill this up right so yeah this is how a preview is displayed and uh, as i say we can drag and drop the fields ordering as well as if i want to add any new field for this list microsoft list itself i can do it from here let's say i want to add a new field uh, which can be a date and time field i'm going to name it as date of birth it could be a date and time if I want to include a time, I can just toggle this button on, but for now I'm not including that. And if I want to make this field as required or not, this is how I can I can make those uh, options available. As soon as add any new field here, it is also going to be displayed in here as well. If I want to change the position of this particular field, I can go from here as well using this arrow button as well. And using the drag and drop feature as well so okay the other options which are available in this new form new form experience is you can theme them i want to use these different type of themes for my form if i want to create my own style using the background color and theme color i can also do that okay and other settings are if i want to show any custom message after a user is uh, uh, submitting their response I can show this message if I want to change a message I can change it from here and in, at some point of time if I stop if I want to stop accepting the response like if I want, don't want any other users to add the data I can just toggle this off and the form is not able to be submitted by the user and they will see this message like we are not expect accepting responses at the moment if I want to change it I can also make that change okay so the changes has been saved like this is how it will be used by the uh, or displayed to the end user let me go and click on the send form so what it will do it will go and generate a link and i click on this copy link it just copied that link and uh, let me show you how that form will look like for me as i am logged in and let me try to log in with another user let me go in the incognito mode 
and let me just paste that link here so it will ask me to go and sign in myself so i'm going to use one of my users email microsoft.com and uh, password yes so as you can see now i'm logged in with weibo it says by the so is logged in and this is what the behavior is i can have another user's email address or uh, data has been added sorry this is the fyi id and i can search for the user this is the user people pick up field so that's why it's showing like that and as you can see i am selected in here i have the date of birth let's see uh, let's see that is and anything i can add things my department is IT. I can select the choice field as well. It is also rendering the choice field as it should be. Mobile number, permanent address, and stage. And when I click on submit, as an end user, I will see that message. Thank you for submitting your response. And if I go in the in the in the Microsoft list one more time and refresh this list, I will see the new entry in here now i go into forms one more time and here i can see the created from the new employee i can copy the link if i want to send it to someone else if i want to edit the form i can click on this edit form and the form will be open in the edit mode i can show or hide any of the fields if i want to add new fields i can do that i can if i want to order this particular field items in the form i can do that as well the other thing what I can do is, uh, uh, let's say I want to stop ac accepting responses for this form. I can click on this so that even if someone is having that particular link uh, in their, in their uh, let's say a bookmark, but still, uh, and, and they try to submit, they will not be able to submit the form. So let's check that. So now I have stopped the responses, accept, accepting responses for this particular Microsoft form. Uh, this form and if I go in this another user that's a Weibo Sony if I try to hit the form link again as you can see we are not accepting responses at the moment the link has been closed form has been closed so no one can go and submit the responses the other thing is I can duplicate the form if I want to create a new form based from this I can do that and if I want to delete this form I can just simply click on that delete button and then after confirming I can delete that form as well how you can use this new experience for the forms inside a Microsoft list to capture a data in a very professional way from your users that will help them to fill out fill in the data very easily and you don't have to expose your Microsoft list to them okay so that's it in this video and uh, let me know if you have any questions or queries in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it and let me know what you think about the content see you in the next video thank you